Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's August 12th, Thursday. Oh, where are my glasses? I just... There you are. There you are. I was just writing my, my copious notes for today. Still squeaking after all these years. Um, busy morning. I just had the boys over at the vet getting um, some shots that they were due. Um, just get their oil changed in and their tires rotated and pick up some, had to get them weighed so I could get some flea meds for them. And it's based on weight. And I've, we found that uh, uh, Rosano is 61 pounds and uh, Marcello is 71 pounds. And they said he's not fat. He's just a big husky boy. So that that's good. But we've been calling him Marcello Tubby <laughs> and and uh, Rosano Dennis the Menace because he's such a punk. He's just such a punk. But I'm glad I got that out of the way. And I don't have to think about that for a while. I got six months worth of flea meds and all that stuff. Um, it was really a fun clubhouse yesterday. I, I had a great time. I, I, I so uh, just love that the, everybody on on it. It's uh, it's been fun to see some new people joining, and um, but just the way everybody hangs together and, and is concerned for each other. It's really become like really just a cool community. Um, and and I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm just the, the catalyst for pulling this together. But beyond that, everybody is really on, a, on an equal footing in this thing. There, there's, it's an incredible cast of characters and, and it's so much fun just to watch how um, one person throws out a, a thought like, what was your first record? And everybody starts just jumping in and talking about that. Because uh, people have said to me, they're you know they're concerned, you know that um, well, I'm not a musician or I'm not a bass player. I don't know, you know, I, what would I do if I joined? It really is such a minimal part of of the hang on this on this site. Uh, it's just really just a community of people catching up with each other every two weeks and um, being concerned, supportive when somebody's going through rough times, being excited when somebody's got some great news. Uh, a lot of good stuff like that. So. That was really great, and it was also really great um, visiting Carol King again. Uh, there, it's it's always a joy to to do anything with Carol, and I was really thrilled yesterday that um, Louise Goff and Carol's daughter uh, contacted me yesterday and said they're putting together a a, a site dedicated to Carol and Jerry Goffin, uh, and asked me if I would be an ambassador on this. And I said, absolutely. So I'm waiting to see what kind of stuff we're going to end up doing. But, <clears throat> you know, I, I go back with Carol and, and, and Jerry, you know, to 1970, you know, beginning of 70, and uh, spent a lot of time with Jerry in the studio, uh, especially at Larrabee Studios, which is interesting because the thing that I'm doing today, I, I checked and we recorded at Larrabee did lots of projects at, at Larrabee. This is where we did Hall and & Oates, and um, I think I did some stuff for Kelly Clarkson there right after she won um, American Idol as like the first big winner on that. But that was where we did all the filmation, cartoon shows like Groovy Ghoulies and Jabber Jaws and the Archies, and that's where we did Ted Knight's album and uh, just tremendous amount of history. Um, in that I can't even really count the amount of projects that came out of Larrabee Studios. Uh, but I've taken a bunch of copious notes here, and I'm going to tell you because I'm going a completely different direction than Carol was yesterday. I figure variety is the spice of life. Um, so this is um, a Japanese artist. Uh, he was a singer and an actor uh, named Goro Noguchi. And we did this album in 1976 at Larrabee, and the album was called Goro, it's G-O-R-O, -O, Goro in Los Angeles is the name of the album. And um, uh, he kind of first hit the scene in 1971, and he had his first number one record in 1974. Um, and it was interesting, I, I just um, go, uh, YouTubed him up, and... Um, there's some live performances. He was celebrating his 50th anniversary concert tour in uh, 2020. 
still sounds great, looks great. And I mean, I had not seen him, you know, since we had done this album back in 76. So it was really kind of wonderful just to see that he's still working and sounding great and had a great show. And uh, it's neat. But we had an unbelievable band for, for this album project. So it was myself on bass, uh, Jim Gordon on drums, uh, it, Larry Carlton and Dean Parks on guitar, not a bad guitar section there. Larry Mahoborak on keys. Um, I, when, I, I worked with Larry on many, many projects, and then he eventually had some uh, jingle uh, commercial accounts in Australia, and, and at a certain point just kind of packed it in in L.A. and, and uh, moved to Australia, and um, that's where he lived out his life down there. I saw him on one of Phil's tours. I invited him out, and we, we, we hooked up, and it was great to see him. And um, his son, Jamie Mahobrak, I've done a bunch of projects with, and he's a terrific uh, keyboard player and arranger, everything. Also, it ran in the family, as they say. An amazing horn section. And here I was yesterday with Carol King on Thoroughbred, and Tom Scott was the sax player on Thoroughbred, and on this project, here's Tom Scott again. This is the world of studio musicians. We do whatever comes in the door. That's that's our our gig. So this this horn the horn section on this was amazing. It was Tom Scott, Ernie Watts, Larry Morgan, Jackie Kelso, Dick Slide Hyde, uh, George Bohannon, Bobby Bryant, Al Aaron's, and Steve Madeo. I mean that is a remarkable collection of, of horn players. Um, and then the background uh, section, vocalists were Andra Willis, Melissa McKay, and Carolyn Willis. And I, I'd have to look this up because Larry Mahobrak's wife was named Andra. Now, so I'm thinking maybe this is either they were married at this point, and, and if this is her, and she was going by her, um, her name, um, or if this was before they actually got married. But I'm, I, I don't know that many... Andras, A-N-D-R-A, um, but I knew that Larry's wife's name was Andra, so maybe it is, I'll have to check into that, but it was produced by Osamu Soji and Setsuro Nakamura, and uh, really just uh, some cool stuff, and, and, and on these things, I always remember, like, this is 1976, so, you know, it's it's really fun to listen to these things, remembering what the music scene was like at that point, but this was all, like, guys in the room and everybody was there um, contributing and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just play a few tracks from this but if you want to check him out any any further um, it, it's his name is Goro Noguchi so it's G-O-R-O -O and then N-O-G-U-C-H-I and um, and like I said I'm thrilled to see he is um, still at it so um, here we go I'm going to start with let me see Here's a song called Bara, B A R A. Mahobrak.
Wow. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's just, it's so definitive of that period. Uh, it's, it's really, really amazing. Uh, let me find this one, because this is the whole album, and I'm going through here trying to find... Um, let's see, which one is this one? Oh, here we go. Let me see what this one sounds like. Here we go. This is called Bottle Letter. I love playing with Jim Gordon, and God, he was such a great drummer. swings it's really cool it's just it's interesting to me when I 
listen back to these and I think about my relationships with people like Dean Parks and Larry Carlton and, and uh, Maho Barak and, and Jim Gordon, how many records we've done over the decades together uh, as, as rhythm sections. And uh, it really is, it is pretty amazing. Uh, and that everybody's still, I mean, Larry is no longer with us and, and Jim, the tragedy of Jim Gordon, but I still work a, a great deal with Dean Parks and every once in a while my path crosses with Larry Carlton. Um, he's not so much studio anymore as a, as a solo artist, but all of these, these people, the, the community of studio musicians in Los Angeles was really remarkable. And, you know, we had that group of the Wrecking Crew um, that did so, so many records back between the late 50s and through the 60s. And then this um, cast of characters kind of picked up where that was starting to leave off. And uh, it was a really vital, vibrant period back from the 70s into the 80s. It was amazing. Um, so um, here's here's one uh, one more song called Kita Kakesen. Uh, Kita... Kakisen. Yeah, I believe that that's it. These are just translations here. But let's see what this one sounds like. This is, I haven't heard this in years. I just found this. So it's exciting for me just to hear all this again, hear everybody's playing and his singing. So here we go. It's all Frankenstein on this.
Beautiful arrangements in a check. Um, Osamu Soji did the arrangements, and James Getzoff was the concert master. There's none of the uh, orchestra listed uh, that I've found, uh, but those are, are who did the uh, arranging and conducting on it. Let's do just a couple more things. This is a song called Good Night. It's interesting, just the variety of, of feels on this album. This is Good Night. <laughs> Just real subtle, just kind of just wow, wow, interesting. Um, let me see. I'll just do one more here. Um, let's see what this one is here. Hold on, just trying to scroll up to the beginning of it. Um, this one is called uh, Shinjuku Gozen Yoji. Uh, so let's see see where we're headed with this one, and then I will bid you adieu for the day. him.
would assume it was Jim Gordon playing uh, tambourine on that one because when we the other day when I visited United Studios and I talked about that was the first studio I had ever been in uh, professionally you know, semi-professionally I guess since we weren't allowed to play on it we sang on our record um, but like I said Jim Gordon Hal Blaine was the drummer and Jim Gordon was playing percussion on on those dates and so many of the records we did the uh, drummers would always throw in the percussion uh, Russ was really good at that um, we'd finish a track and then he would just drag out a, um, a shaker and tambourine and congas and because he's playing let's say he was since he's playing with himself but don't go all funky on me um, since he had just laid down the the drum track he was inside of it so he knew so when he would play congas and and, and tambo or whatever he would end up uh, doing percussion wise it really always fits so beautifully and uh, carlos vega was like that too carlos would do but we were usually you know blessed with having somebody like lenny castro on a date who just was so good at it um so that's uh, Goro Noguchi from 1976. And uh, I am now going to uh, run to the post office. I've got a box of books to mail and one of my uh, illustrations um, prints. Um, somebody ordered that, so I'm going to drop, got that packed and sending that off. And then I'm going to have lunch with Blue, uh, who I did the book with, and discuss some things with him. And... Uh, and then a couple errands to run after that. So it's another day of just stuff. Stuff. Um, so I'm going to wish everybody a great day. Um, I wish this was I wish this was behind us. But boy, I am. Every day it's getting deeper and deeper for all the frontline healthcare workers, especially uh, the staffs in um, hospitals, doctors, nurses, cafeteria, janitorial. Um, you name it, um, boy, they are you know, seeing just hospitals folding up now. They're just so overwhelmed with, with new cases. So it's, it, it won't end till people get, get do the right things and, and take care of themselves. But uh, I don't see much of an end to that in sight. I'm just hoping that it doesn't get too much worse before it starts to improve again. So thank you all for all you do every day. You're a remarkable, remarkable people and working under the most terrible circumstances at this point. And it's got to be frustrating because you know the answer's sitting right there and people aren't doing it. And so it's got to be really difficult for, for all of those people. Um, so, um, so have a nice day. I'm going to wish everybody the very best, but try to stay safe. Think about your community and... Uh, Let's try to heal the community. And, uh, and I will talk to you all. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We've got more, more music to come. I'm, the, the deeper I dig, the deeper it gets. So I'm, I'm having an adventure going through, uh, trying to discover what I've done. Because uh, I'm just really, most of the time, thinking about today and tomorrow. I don't think that very much about the past. So uh, this has kind of forced me to address my history. Whatever that is, whatever. Take good care. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.